how's it going? It is your muscle building coach, Lee Hayward. And today I have a question that was sent in about an old school bodybuilding workout from Steve Reeves. And this is in response to a blog post that I made a while back uh, covering a total body workout that Steve Reeves used back in his heyday. Now, if you're not familiar with Steve Reeves, he was a very popular bodybuilder back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, he was a movie star back in the day, played roles like Hercules, and he was a, a role model to a lot of famous people, including Arnold Schwarzenegger. So he's one of the original old school bodybuilders. Anyway, the, the question that I have here is from uh, Tameo, and he's 18 years old. He says he's been working out for the past three years, and lately he's become obsessed with the old school aesthetic look of Steve Reeves. He says, I want to look like him. No bullshit oils, no supplements, just good food, rest, and intense full body workouts. So I decided to follow the Steve Reeves workout that you posted on your website. Uh, do you have some examples of people who are following that program and managing to get a truly old school aesthetic look? All right, All right now that's an interesting question. And I want to cover this one because it, it touches on a topic that uh, a lot of people have some misconceptions about. And that is following an individual's workout program. So in this case, uh, if you follow Steve Reeves' workout program, you do the exact same exercises, the same sets, the same reps, the, and try and duplicate everything. Even if you follow the same type of diet and try to mimic his lifestyle to the best of your ability, chances are you wouldn't build a body that looks like Steve Reeves. <laughs> you would build a body based on your own individual genetics. And that applies with everybody's workout program. I mean, if you follow Arnold Schwarzenegger's program, you know, it doesn't mean you're going to build a body that looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you follow Jay Cutler's program, it doesn't mean you're going to build a body that looks like Jay Cutler. You can only build your body based on your own individual genetics. And that applies regardless of what program you follow. I mean, even for these guys, if they followed a different style of training, like in, in the case of Steve Reeves, we have a, a total body, three day per week workout routine. Even if he followed something totally different, and he did, say, like a, a bodybuilding split routine, or maybe even if he did some sort of CrossFit style of training, or so, something you know totally different than what he did in his three day per week total body workout, chances are he would still build a body very similar to what he did just based on his individual genetics. I mean, that's how his body responds to training. That type of look that he has, or had, <laughs> that's his body's natural genetics response to training. Everybody has their own individual response. Now, I mean, yeah, you may find a certain style of training that you prefer or that works better for you, but even if you followed a different approach, you're going to get similar results provided that you're training in a progressive overload fashion and that you're getting adequate nutrition, rest and recovery and all that stuff. So don't take uh, the, the workout programs too literally and thinking that, okay, this is Steve Reeves' workout. If I want to look like Steve Reeves, I have to do this. Or, you know, if I want to look like a modern day bodybuilder, I have to do, you know, Jay Cutler or Ronnie Coleman's workout. It, it doesn't work that way. I mean, you can only build your body based on your own genetics. Now, when it comes to old school bodybuilding versus modern day bodybuilding, uh, when it comes to the actual workouts themselves, the biggest difference is the old school workouts were more basic because they had less equipment. I mean, the workouts were based around barbells and dumbbells and body weight exercises. And I mean, they did have some machines available, like some cable machines and things like that. But for the most part, the exercises were very limited compared to what we have today. There are pros and cons to free weights versus machines, and I'm not going to get into all that here in this video, but just realize that that's the biggest difference when it comes to uh, the, the workout programs. Is the old school programs were just more basic. And that's why a lot of them did full body workouts, is because where they had fewer exercises to train each muscle group, they preferred to train them more frequently with the basic uh, free weight and body weight exercises. So instead of having the body part split routines that are so common these days, a lot of them did you know, a total body workout every other day. That was kind of the, the, the norm for the old school training. But the biggest difference that you're going to see when it comes to the old school look versus the modern day look has nothing to do with the workouts and more to do with performance enhancing drugs. 
I know this is kind of like the ugly side of bodybuilding that no one really likes to talk about, but it's true. I mean, the steroids and the performance enhancing drugs that were available back in the golden days of bodybuilding was minuscule compared to what's available today. And when you look at the dosages that were used, I mean, the stuff that the old school guys took versus what the current pro bodybuilders are taking, I mean, it was peanuts in comparison. I mean, if you look at some of the, uh, the dosages and, and the amounts that guys were taking getting ready for the Mr. Olympia contest back in the, you know, the, the quote-unquote pumping iron days, I mean, there are amateurs and guys doing their very first cycle who are taking higher dosages than what the Mr. Olympia competitors were, you know, back in the, the 60s and 70s. So that's the reason why we're seeing such uh, an extreme change in bodybuilding. And in addition to that, there's more uh, drugs and performance enhancing substances out there. I mean, one that you mentioned in your uh, email was the bullshit oils, right? Uh, the site enhancement oils and synthanol. Uh, this is, you know, uh, something that has really taken off in recent years. And I think it's just absolutely disgusting because it doesn't even look like muscle. It's, and it's not muscle. It's basically like a liquid implant to just create some artificial swelling in the muscle and when people abuse it, it really looks, you know, stupid and disgusting. And fortunately, most bodybuilding federations are cracking down on this and actually penalizing competitors who have visible signs of site enhancement oil. So that's a step in the right direction. We're also seeing the addition of new bodybuilding categories. We have uh, men's physique as well as classic bodybuilding. And these categories encourage more of the natural, aesthetic, uh, old-school look. Now, again, I'm not saying that all these guys are natural. I mean, you know, I'm sure they're still performance-enhancing drugs, but not to the same degree as you would get in the mass monsters. And the reason for that is because these new divisions, uh, the classic bodybuilding division, for example, has a height and weight ratio cutoff, where you have to be under a certain body weight based on your height in order to compete. You can't be, you know, a as big as you want and compete because you won't make the, the height weight ratio cutoff. And I think that's a step in the right direction because most people would rather look like the old school bodybuilders with that lean, aesthetically pleasing look rather than being an all out freak show mass monster that we see on the pro stages today. So again, ho hopefully this helps to uh, clarify your question and just to kind of give you some insights into the differences between old school versus modern day bodybuilding. And if you have any questions, comments, or feedback about this, please feel free to post those down in the comment section below and I'll chat with you down there. And if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to the Total Fitness Bodybuilding YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. Have yourself a fantastic day and I look forward to talking to you in my next video. Take care. Over and out.